The church, in her wisdom, instructs priests and deacons this weekend to give an abbreviated homily. And so I simply want to say this. As we enter Holy Week, um, this is a time when we look very deeply at the last days of Jesus. And what we see in his life, and especially in his last days, is that Jesus gave everything. Jesus held nothing back. At the very beginning of the gospel, we have this woman who brings with her this jar of oil, expensive oil, 300 days wages. And what she does is she takes that whole jar and she pours it onto Jesus' head. She anoints him, preparing him for burial. And it's important that she poured the whole jar. Imagine if she had taken like a little eyedropper and just put that into the jar and just put like a, just a drop on Jesus' head. It would not have had quite the same effect if she was stingy with the oil, but she poured the whole thing. Now, she took some flack for it. People were criticizing her. What a waste. We don't need to use all that on him. You could have just used a little. She gave everything. So as we enter into Holy Week, it's an opportunity. And I hope for every one of us, no matter who you are, no matter where you've been, no matter where you're going, maybe this is your first Holy Week that you've been to church in a long time. Maybe it's your hundredth. Maybe you're young, maybe you're on the older side of life. Maybe you're kind of struggling with your faith. Maybe your faith is as strong as it's ever been. No matter who you are, no matter where you've been, no matter where you're going, it's an opportunity that this Holy Week be a time of prayer, be a time of entering into these last days of Jesus. And so let's dedicate ourselves or rededicate ourselves to giving Jesus everything we have. He did that for us on the cross.